Hi everyone, I'm back and I today I have a haul video for you and it is from Primark. Um, I went to Primark um, early this week and um, I, didn't, oh, I went to something specific which I managed to get um, and I had a little look around and they had some lovely summer stuff, they had some lovely stuff generally but um, clothes wise I was kind of I didn't need anything. Um, I didn't really need anything that badly. I'm not big. I'm gonna big up on summer clothes. I still want to lose some weight, so I thought I'm not gonna buy a whole load of summer clothes. There was a nice skirt, pleated skirt. I have an obsession with pleated skirts, but I thought no, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna buy a couple of basics, things that I'll wear at the moment, and things that I can wear for a month, a few a few months, and just wear everyday things. Um, real basics. So I only got three clothing items which I'll start with. The first thing I got was another pair of these jeggings. Um, in my last Primark haul I think I showed you a um, bright blue pair. Well I got them and to be honest I should have sized down because they were, they're quite, were quite stretchy. So I sized down in these ones and these are fine. They're much better. They're quite tight. Um, yeah, they're okay. Now, these are normally £7, but they're actually on sale for £5.50. £5.50 for a pair of drop jeggings, and they're proper denim, stretchy denim ones. Now, as you can see, it's a very, very pale blue. It almost looks a bit grey on there, but it's a very, very pale blue. So I think these will be really nice for the when the warmer weather comes. Um, as I say, they're proper jean style, you've got all the studding and everything, but they're just stretchy and just pull on, which I love. Um, and for £5.50 I don't think you can argue um, so I got them and then I got two pairs bleh, face to face, two pairs of leggings um, I wear leggings a lot around the house I'm not a person who would go out in leggings um, but I wear leggings around the house for when I'm working you know just living basically um, they're comfy, they're stretchy and yeah, they're comfortable and that's all, it's all about comfort. And I've bought a lot of different pairs from a lot of different places over the years. Um, when I was a little bit thinner I used to buy top shops, so I was quite devoted to top shop leggings um, because they had great stretch. Um, to be honest, I've still got some size 16 pairs now and they still fit me, so that's not too bad. But they are stretchy and what have you, but um, in the last... Well, in the last three weeks I've thrown away two pairs of leggings because of little holes that just get bigger holes and bigger holes. Where do those little holes come from? So I threw a few pairs away but um, I, I, as I say I've got leggings at all price points and these are probably the best for the money. Um, they last fine, they wash well, you know, that's fine. Um, and get that there. They are three pounds a pair. Now these are the viscose mix ones. These are regulars. So I sometimes get extra long but because of obviously we're moving hopefully moving into warmer weather. Um, I just got regulars. I usually don't normally get the extra long. Um, but these are normally three pounds. They're actually on special for two pounds fifty a pair. So two pounds fifty for a pair of leggings. Obviously you think mm, how did they do that for that? But they're exactly the same as some of the more expensive brands. If I'm just going to wear them around the house, I don't care if they drop to bits within a month or two, which they don't, by the way. I've already, my previous pair are still going strong. I think they were Laradu ones that I ended up throwing out. Laradu and Papaya at Matalan. So um, these ones are pretty okay. Um, as I say, three fifty, two two fifty pay. Can't say no. I got two pairs. So leggings, everyday things, things I wear around the house. Yeah, leggings. Right, next up, that was all the clothes I bought. I didn't buy any of the clothing. But the next thing is what something I went in for, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video. I got the lovely Daisy Duvet set that they've been doing. And when I went in the other day, it had gone. So, you know, I already had it, so that was fine. But the only thing was I wanted the cushions. So eventually I found the cushions on a different rack. And I got one of the big, the big pillows. Um, yeah, it's huge. It's way bigger than my head. They do a smaller size, but I like the big one. Um, and yeah, it's got a big daisy on the front. I'll try and lean back a bit. Big daisy on the front. And like the duvet set, it's got the sort of daisy chain pattern on the back. Um, this was £6. And I actually thought this was just a cushion. Um, 
just like a cushion with the knee but it's actually not it's a cover as well so you can actually take this off and wash it which is brilliant because I didn't realize that when I bought it but this size was six pound and I say they did have a, a smaller size the bedding was beautiful I had a lovely sort of Moroccan themed one um which was in shades of pink I've got a hair in my mouth oh hey right um it was sort of a moroccan themed one and it had sort of pink and everything and corals that was really nice this one is, was a little harder to find as i say it wasn't on the main racks anymore it was just on a side rack um so yeah i think that was absolutely lovely and i love it and my cushion obsession continues when i eventually get the duvet sat on the bed i will photograph it um but it's not on yet um right jewelry 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 I got a couple of jewellery pieces, a um, couple of things else I could have got but I didn't, I was trying to be good. So first up was this bracelet, it's basically like silver tone, um, sort of, I don't know, what, I don't know, they're sort of little geometrical sort of cubes but they're not cubes and on it is a little filigree charm with a tassel. Um, that was £2, I think it comes up as filigree bracelet. I thought that was quite nice. I like dangly ones and I like things I can layer up with other things. It's funny, I always talk about my obsession for bracelets, but when I come to record videos, I never seem to wear any. I've got a necklace on today from Next, but that's it, no bracelets. I must start wearing bracelets for videos, although I think it's be probably because they chink too much, that's probably. Now, the next thing I got um, was something that I, I thought it was something else actually. Um, there was a new range in the jewellery section of official Disney jewellery with Primark. Um, and I actually, I don't know why, I thought this was a necklace. Um, there was two necklaces in the range. One was a Mickey head with like crystals on it. And there was another one with the word love. And I think there all was a Mickey head. Um, but I thought this was a necklace. I don't know why I thought this was a necklace because it clearly says bracelet yeah so why I didn't I thought this was a bracelet uh, necklace I really don't know but it is adorable it is a gold tone Mickey head um it's all Disney licensed it's Disney on the back of the head as well and it's really cute it's just a Mickey head it comes on a card saying someone special um these are for adults they're not for children which is strange it does say specifically for adult product um, and I haven't took it off the card yet, but it is really, really cute. I wish it was a necklace, but the necklace, I think, was the crystal head. So if I see that, I might go back for that. And that was the massive amount of £2.50. So that's what I got there. Um, what else? Right, next up, uh, I got a few beauty things. I found the beauty, count, um, beauty stands. They're over the far sort of side of the store now in Metro Centre on the other side of the lingerie and pyjamas they've been having another shift round um, if it, as I say the, re the redevelopments are still ongoing but um, yeah I found the beauty section and I have to say I was a little bit disappointed they had, I'd seen some matte velvet lip pencil lip pen pencil things on a few people's blogs and instagrams and things every single one of them had been opened and smooshed in the colour that I liked um, they were supposedly sealed, none of them were. Every single one had been opened, used, played with. Um, there was some the makeup sections, there was bronzing powder everywhere. Um, I couldn't see the one, the Naked Esque palettes, but I, I was gonna look at some other stuff, but there was just, everything was just smooshed. So I was kind of like, well, that's really, I'm not really gonna buy that if it's been smooshed, which is a shame because the lip, lip pencil did look really nice. It was a sort, I think it was the shade Nude. But as I say, every single one had been opened. So there you go. Um, I can understand you can't have people watching 24 hours like a day standing over the beauty counters. But to be honest, it was just ridiculous. So I've got some cleansing wipes. The usual ones. Um, I've been swatching like a demon lately because I've had some nicer weather. I've been swatching like a demon and I've used absolutely tons of those. I was also lazy a couple of times and used them to take my makeup off, which you sh which I shouldn't do. Um, I don't really like using them on my eyes for the make my eyes run, but this needs most. It's better than leaving your makeup on, I guess. So, and the final thing I got was some makeup brushes. Um, these look look relatively new, and they're actually really nice. Now I can't take them out packets because I've got scissors, and unfortunately I don't see how you can open these packets without scissors. So um, I'm going to do a blog post to go with this post. So I'll link below for some better photos. 
and I'll do some initial impressions on what I think of these once I get them out of the packaging. But they are really pretty. They're black, sort of a matte black and a rose gold brushes. Um, let's have a look. What does it say? Just says stippling brush. Now this is the stippling brush. And that's what you can see, the stippling brush. It's a nice stippling brush, dual fibre, rose gold ferrule, rose gold printing on the brush handle. And that was £1.50. £1.50. So that was pretty bargain-tastic. Um, so we'll see what that's like for the price. And I also got this, which was the same series. Um, again, black and rose gold. And this is a double-ended eyeshadow and concealer brush. Or you could use it for eyeshadow or concealer or both. Um, again, doesn't say an awful lot about what it's made out of. I would hope it was synthetic. Um, I expect it would be because that's usually what foundation brushes, to be honest, if they're not synthetic, they're, it's they're kind of a bit complicated and hard to use and a bugger to wash. So I'm hoping this one, I'm hoping they are synthetic, but it doesn't actually say, but they are very pretty. Um, again, rose gold, that's a sort of slightly more domed head. And you've got the other end, which is a smaller brush. And that was a pound. So, um, as I say, I'll do in the blog post, I'll try and see what I think of these. But they are quite pretty, they look nice in the rose gold theme, which is impossible to photograph, by the way. I'm really struggling with, I've got some of the Rosie Huntington Whiteley from Austin Spencer's range, and I'm having real problems photographing it because I'm just useless with shiny packaging. Never mind. So that was my Primark haul. It wasn't the hugest, it wasn't the hugest. Um, I didn't buy a lot, but... Um, um, yeah, it, it was all summery stuff, and I don't really... I don't know, I've got enough summery stuff. If you're not going away in the UK, you can't always justify buying loads and loads of summery stuff, but they did have some lovely beach wear, um, cover-ups, caftans, things like that. Um, and I had some pyjamas, which I quite like, but I don't really need any more pyjamas. They were the grumpy cat ones, I quite like those. But um, yeah, um, that was what I got. Um, as I say, the only things I can definitely see myself going back for would be the Disney, the rest of the Disney necklaces. I'm not a huge Disney freak like some bloggers. Um, I think I'm a bit old for that, but um, good on them if that's what they like. But um, I like a little hint of Mickey Mouse. I think there's always we always need a hint of magic in our lives. So I think I might go back for the crystal necklace now, because I mean, I am sure that is a necklace. So I think I will try and go back for that at some point, but I can't see me going back for a couple of weeks anyway, because the kids will be off shortly for Easter and I don't like going to the Metro Centre when the kids are off, but we'll see. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've done a Primark haul recently, please let me know. Let me know what you bought. I know there's a lot of Primark hauls on YouTubes and blogs and things. It's still the blogger popular shop. Um, so if you've left bought anything interesting or you bought anything you think I might like, then leave me a comment and let me know. And I'll see you soon with another video.